Hello Taurus, welcome to your February 2021 general reading. This is love, career, and anything that, that comes up, I will let you know. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in Taurus. Okay, so Taurus, for personal readings, everything is in the description below this video. My website, Taurus. Okay, putting an, an end to a situation that was difficult to um, to be in. End of addictions for uh, some of you. But a newfound happiness with the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, this is blessings coming. The Wheel of Fortune is a positive change. So you moving from a painful situation or a struggle... Um, to this wheel of fortune okay some of you buying a car the emperor becoming self-employed or your uh, business could have this increase in money especially from now till airy season <clears throat> talking uh, april uh, yeah april April, okay, April, end of March, April, strength card, ooh, some of you are dealing with the um, Aries or Leo, you know, relationship wise, number 21 or 4, it's telling me 21 or 4, maybe 20, 20, 25 years old, 20, 21, or that's the number, the, um, the day, the day of your date of birth or their date of birth. Four is also April. Okay, so personal power is increasing. Realizing that you're stronger than you think. And the Ten of Pentacles, I did see that. So some of you will get into a commitment with someone that is of a fire sign, especially. But we've got we've got everything here. We've got earth and air too. But um, this is your money increasing. This is your stability by um, March, April. Pride in your family tree. Honoring family traditions and just being happy even you know with your situation with your home situation your um you know the money that you have to share for you and your and your family so this is also moving on from difficulties okay the end of challenging times Things are looking up. Well, uh, welcome relief. This could be with someone that with the emperor here you have children with. And things to um, turn around for the better. You could really feel happy in this relationship. Or even, um, you know, just a, a committed relationship. Could uh, improve or you getting into a committed relationship after some challenges with this person all right so moving on uh, especially again the king of wands especially with fire signs or someone that was just looking for passion with you And things will turn out more committed. Taurus, February 2021. Friendship, yeah, from friends to um, committed, more committed, more in a union, in a partnership with someone, yeah. Ice King, passion. Strong Leo energy and or someone quite strong too and physically strong communication work you could have worked together you've met uh, so you, like you, you've met through work or for through like a business partnership uh, your business partner or their business partner 
um, yeah, so friends, even through work colleagues or some type of business that you you could be doing or are doing already. I do see a collaboration with someone mature, someone that is an entrepreneur. You could have feelings for each other and some passion there. Twin flame. It's a twin flame. True gem. Yeah, and there's also potential for engagement. So things to get really more committed with your twin flame or with this passion, this friend. Okay. Yeah, for some of you with this friend. Now, if you are already in a committed relationship, your friendship is going to save the relationship through this, you know, to overcome these obstacles um, that you are having. So staying united as, you know, in, in the friendship, if you have a good friendship, you will, this relationship will be much stronger in airy season. Okay. All right, this one wants to come out. The Queen of Cups reverse. So now, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Some of you, um, yeah, you've been having difficulty talking about how you are feeling. Look, there's a Cancer. How you are feeling. There's also Pisces <laughs> or Virgo, near future. Um, now, this is like a psychic connection that you have. Um, you use mostly, um, instead of communicating, you use, I feel there's misunderstanding because you tend to think that this person knows how you feel and there as well. So you tend to kind of telepathically communicate but there is a need for real heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Yeah, we've got Capricorn as well. And a lot of cardinal signs here with Capricorn and Cancer. could be a rising, or you have a rising somewhere, um, or they do. So you felt... You felt in a situation that um, was quite controlling or someone was trying to even um, manipulate you in some way. Or, you know, this could even be someone that, you know, kept you in this passionate connection without commitment. Where you felt there was someone else. It could have been someone else with the shadow, with the, with the devil card here. You felt like you um, mostly attached to this person because um, they just wanted, you know, some time together, some some passionate moments with you. And um, right now, if I feel that you stopped worrying about what are they up to, and when you do that, yeah, when you do that, you're going to uh, really be guided. To what you have to do okay so this could be because you need to listen to your intuition instead of just assuming things or being jealous or being um, somehow with this queen of cups reversed you could get a little bit pushy or clingy or even overwhelm your partner or this person that you know that you're interested in or even do something that are um, out of character so you being <laughs> um, saying things out of those negative emotions okay such as jealousy and things like that so um, to move forward is telling you that you're going to be really focused on you what you feel mostly and how yes there's a need for communication and I do see a new beginning here that you could have with this person in terms of communication but um you mostly spiritually guided 
intuitively guided to this ten of pentacles so it's like no need to worry just listen to what your intuition is telling you and don't feel with the queen of cups reversed don't feel any type of emotion that will uh, yes lower your vibration and lower the vibration of love because the queen of cups is uh, the queen of love and reversed that's uh, you with your um, vibration very low here right now so you need to to move forward you definitely need to um, use your intuition okay and even just do a cleanse use the moon cycles you know to uh, release you know these energies like um, full moon today is a new moon in Aquarius it's good to manifest new beginnings it's also good to cleanse and make space for these uh, new energies that are coming okay moving forward with the hangman you see yourself there is an awakening some of you are spiritually aware of these things now and or more even sensitive and more psychic at this time yeah so yeah so you've got the you've got the strength card again and the four wands with the knight of cups reversed so there was a stagnant situation here in love and the stability in this relationship is telling you for you to just be be strong and use your you are your personal power is you are who you are and that's your personal power basically so that is gonna make you turn this this around be it in your stability financial stability or in your romantic life especially if you thought that this person or you had competition or this person was attached to someone else there's no need to compete to anyone else you you are you and that's how you win basically that's why um, here with the four wands reversed could be even you know just a lot of uh, instability in this relationship Well, you're having to take back control of your life because if this person you don't want to move forward like this with them there's a need for you to put some type of um, force show some type of strength here and you Taurus you are good at, it, at showing your strength um, not being stubborn but um, just showing your your power okay with the lovers reversed you yeah I do see that you feel someone is cheating on you um, if you are single and with the lovers reversed you don't feel connected to anyone right now there is a, a king the king of swords Gemini Libra Aquarius or Leo that's that ice king That is coming in to communicate with you there is communication as well truth coming to light Gemini especially with the lovers some of you it's a Gemini let's clarify the lovers reverse the will of fortune reverse so this is um, mm this is a reconnection uh, even the twin flame journey is taking a while because it's uh, the will of fortune is reversed you feel like things are not going your way but it's just timing now the will is it turned in your favor so it moves forward smoothly and there is a sword this person has a lot of um, air with the emperor and with this uh, sword here twice 
Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And there's a lot of Leo too. So this could be someone they meet or a friend that will become more in the future. Let's clarify this shadow. You've done your shadow work, some of you, or you still need to because the, the Queen of Cups are reversed and the nine, the nine of Swords is telling you to don't worry about this, to follow your intuition. But with this queen of uh, this queen of love reversed, and the shadow crowning you, yeah, you could be purging some emotions as well at this time, um, especially to your twin flame, um, and that could cause some some problems. You could be projecting. Right now, yeah, look, some problems. Turn of wands, some difficulties. We've got Earth sign as well, strong Capricorn, or again, Leo. But there's a happy outcome, okay? Even in your finances, there's a new beginning here. If you thought that um, the devil in finances, okay. It could be even debt, a lot of expenses or debt, but you will, you will clear up. Everything is going to be okay with the sun card there. So stay positive. All right. Uh, I'm going to clarify in the outcome, the outcome, I mean, in the extended reading. So if you want to join me there, everything you need to to do is in the description below this video. You do need to become a member to watch the extended if you want to uh, hear more about this outcome with the, the King of Swords. But before I'm going to take this, um, clarify this High Priestess. Right. So with the High Priestess is telling you to follow your intuition and to stop crying over spilled milk because you're causing more worry, more more delays and to also not worry about the delays because this is also representing March because it's Pisces and we've got Pisces Aries very strong Pisces turning to um, Pisces season to Aries season there, there could be now some delays but um, don't focus on the negative there's so much more and, and positive that is coming for you in in love or in money this wheel of fortune is really changing things for you okay this next couple of months so stay optimistic and i'll see you there in the outcome if not i'll see you very soon taurus for the mid mid month yeah which is almost mid month but i will focus only in um yeah, this mid-month in love is all, it's all about love. So the true love reading will be out very soon. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.